have to. She will. She'll be just fine. Hello. She's a competitor. Hello. But, Pags, we got Coach Enos on, so let me bring him on, and we'll yep. talk to Mariskini Baseball with him. Yep. Coach, how are you, my friend? I'm very good today. Thank you. You should be good today. I know when, when I reached out to you earlier in the week, you said, you still want me on if we lose? And, I, and I'm sitting here saying, you, you guys are going to win this game. I, I know the posit was – um, the defending state champ, and they've they're always right there in the thick of things in, in baseball, coach. But I would have had you on regardless because you guys have had a great season. So, congratulations on the season and the win yesterday. Thank you very much. So, coach, let's let's first talk about the regular season. We'll kind of go through the, the timeline here. And, um, this was your second year, uh, yep. as, as the head coach. But you have, I was going through your roster and um, before the season started, I said, you know, you kind of got a pretty good blend. You got some seniors, but you got some underclassmen. Did you know as the season was getting ready to start that you guys were going to have a special group? Um, yeah, just from the run that we made last year and the guys we had coming back, I had, you know, we had some good senior leadership last year that I had to replace, you know, find guys to step into those roles. But the the core was definitely there. So, coach, you get into the regular season, and you guys, uh, you guys cruised. We'll just say you guys had a couple setbacks, but you guys cruised through the the regular season. You played a, a good non conference schedule. Does does the non conference schedule help you guys? You know, transition into sectionals and even beyond that. I definitely think so. We, we try to play some better teams in that non conference to challenge us for teams that we may possibly see like. Not that we're going to see them in sectionals, but that type of baseball. So we try to, you know, schedule up a little bit and play some teams that we know are competitive sectional type teams. And coach, how special is it for you? I know you have your your son coaching with you. Um, I've coached with my dad and I repeat it all the time and said it was the best experience that I've had and I'll remember it forever. How special is it for you to have your son with you? Uh, it's, it's awesome. Um, I couldn't do it without him, to be honest with you. You know, just being able, it's not just like you're there with them for two hours. We bounce stuff off each other. He still lives at home. So we're eating dinner, hanging out, watching TV. We're doing stuff constantly together. So nothing really gets missed because it's continuously talked about. Coach, who's the tougher one on the kids, you or your son? Oh, definitely me. He's I'm the bad <laughs> cop. He's the good cop. I was going to say, that's normally how I mean, it plays he's, out, right? He's younger. He relates to him more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the old guy. <laughs> well, Coach, that you guys get in the sectionals, and you guys went, obviously you continued to run there. You beat Lyme um, to win the Class D title game, and you guys have had some really good pitching all year. And, you know, we'll talk about the game yesterday, but your pitching has been really good all season for you. Yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our strong point of our team. You know, we – a lot of teams have one ace and then other guys that fill in. We I pretty much have three guys that I could I can count on to pitch really well. And coach, talk to us a little bit about yesterday because the positive Hancock, you guys played them last year. They they got you guys last year and went on to win a state title. And they've been in that state championship, coach. I think they've won it what like three years, three times out of the last what handful of years. Yeah, they they're they're they've always been right there. They're a very confident group. Um, I mean, it's funny. Young before when my oldest son was playing, they were separate, and it was either one either Deposit or Hancock would be the team you played if you got to that regional game. You know, now they're together, which makes them even that much stronger. So, coach, you guys you guys trailed yesterday. Um, you fell behind early two zero, and then. You know, I had said your two pitchers kind of took over and, and shut that lineup down, but you guys got the bats going for you. What changed after about the second inning? Um, I think see, the, their pitcher was phenomenal. He he had four pitches, you know, he kept you off balance on what he was going to throw. Um, we kind of just had some good at bats, and by the second time through the lineup, we'd seen most of his pitches, had an idea what he was throwing, and then – he started to lose a little bit of control, which helped, you know, we got some pressure with guys on base and we, we've hit like that all year, you know, taking advantage of a walk here, walk there, pass ball, move guys over, hit a sack, fly, just different things like that, that have kind of worked for us. 
And coach, this is uh, this is the first time I think Ariskany has been to the state final four in, in a long time, right? Yeah, um, I want to say it was 2015 or 16 was the last time they went. And I know that uh, that community there rallies behind you guys. I know the community and all of us locally are are proud of you guys and have enjoyed following you guys, you know, throughout the season. What's it going to take to get and play for a state title? Who do you, who do you guys have next? I didn't see it this morning. We have um, Hadley Luzerne next. What do you know section. about them? I've been trying to research. You know what? Like we put all our stats online. And a lot of these schools don't put anything on there, you know, like, so I was checking max preps and some of those other things this morning and there's not a whole lot on there. Before I got, came on here, I was watching their game is on NFHS. So I was trying to watch their game and, and see what was going on. But I mean, we're going to do our thing. That's what we do. We're not going to change anything for who we're playing. We're just going to play risk any baseball. Coach, I never understood that really in any sport. I know you've coached football too, but yeah. I, I always wondered why coaches don't put – I would think you're doing it for the kids, right? You put all their stats Absolutely. And like I put all the kids' things on there for the for the kids, for anyone that wants to look at them. I mean, like you, you can figure out pretty quick in a game who the guys are and who you got to worry about, you know? And, I mean, baseball, you can look and say, oh, this one has this many stolen bases or this one's average is this, but – pretty much, you know, where they are in the lineup. That's what they do. You know, like that's the way it's kind of set up. Coach, you, you have a, uh, quite the athletic, uh, family, um, in, in your household. I know you, you talked a little bit. I was talking about your son, Matt, but Ryan's had a, a great career as well. And how proud is it to have both your boys? I know you got the one by your side coaching, but you gotta be awfully proud of the family. Oh, Absolutely. Ryan's actually home since he came back. He's been he's been helping out too. So it's a real family affair here, which is even better, Coach. Absolutely, it, it it makes it that much uh, that much better as as time goes, right? And you you've been around a long time. You've you you've coached what football? You've kind of done it all over there at Ariskin. Yeah, so like at Ariskin, I started coaching softball because there was baseball coaches there before me. Then Tom took over and did a great job. And then as, as my oldest son, Ryan, when he got to be a sophomore, I talked to Tom and I was like, I'm coaching softball and I can't see any of his games. I said, you know, do you mind if I get on your staff and help you coach? And I'm, I'm going to give up softball because I can't miss this whole high school career. So that's when I made the switch. And I've coached basketball. I coached, um, like I said, you coach football for a while. So, Coach, just the last thing I was going to ask you. So, uh, you know, your team, you got – I think you got, what, four seniors and the rest are all underclassmen. So yep. you'll have a you'll have a good group, you know, next year and I'm sure coming up. What are – what are who are some of the names, um, you know, on your team this year? Has there anybody that's really surprised you that's really stepped up? Um, I know a lot of your guys all play key roles, but is there any one or two players that have stepped up for you this year that might – might not have expected had the expectations for it um there's there's a ton of guys like um chase coning pitched good for us last year but struggled at the plate he came in this year and until yesterday's game he was batting four for me and hitting 300 and you know had a bunch of rbis um we got a couple kids up from the jv team matt kernan is a sophomore He's playing in right field for us, but he's just finds ways to get on base and he's a great base runner. He just, I don't know how he does it, but he does. Um, Sean Graziano came in and filled in one of our other outfield spots and he's, he's a wild card. You know, he gets that once he gets on base and he finds ways to get on, he gets himself around. Um, Nick Hayes went from center field where he played awesome last year was an all-star we didn't have a catcher. I said, Nick, can you catch? And he, you know, he came in and did some work in the off season and worked on his blocking drills and, you know, framing and all that stuff. And he's, he's been throwing out runners and, you know, huge for us back there. Uh, another JV kid came in and played second base for us. And he, he made two or three phenomenal plays for us yesterday. It's a combination. There's a, there's a ton of guys that are just, you know, playing really well. 
Well, coach, your team's been been fun to watch, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm I know your community, our community, all over the Mohawk Valley is, is proud of your team, and you've done a great job with them. Great family affair with with the family by your side, and you know, we'll continue to follow you, and hopefully, I'll be talking to you again after you guys win a state title. That would be great. So I appreciate you taking the time this morning, Coach. Best of luck the rest of the way. All right. Thank you. You got it, Coach.